The movie opens with a woman named Xing Lu, who works as a flight attendant. As she hurriedly crossed the street, she narrowly avoided being hit by a car. She didn't think much of it and hurried away. Little did she know, the driver of the car took a picture of her for some unknown reason. One day, Xing Lu confided in a friend that she planned to quit her job as a flight attendant and start her own cafe. While taking a walk with her friends, she stumbled upon an extravagant wedding celebration taking place in a building. To her surprise, she discovered that the groom's name was Zen Min, who happened to be her boyfriend. Wanting to be certain, Xing Lu mustered the courage to enter the building. And indeed, she found out that Zen Min had betrayed her and married another woman. Overwhelmed by sorrow, she couldn't hold back her tears and hastily left the venue. Aware of Xing Lu's presence, Zen Min chased after her, and they eventually met in the pouring rain. Xing Lu unleashed all her anger and disappointment upon Zen Min. However, an even greater shock awaited her. Zen Min had married another woman solely to gain control of his father-in-law's wealth. He claimed that once he secured his position as the rightful heir, he would return to Xing Lu because he truly loved her. Furious, Xing Lu rejected his proposition and chose to walk away from him. Consumed by heartbreak and profound disillusionment, Xing Lu made a fateful decision to end her own life by leaping from the top of the building. Onlookers below watched with a mix of excitement and concern as she stood on the edge. The police and firefighters positioned themselves downstairs, ready to intervene and cushion her fall with a massive rubber balloon mattress. Amidst the commotion, a man named Cheng Shu happened to pass by and became intrigued by the unfolding events. Witnessing the woman's desperate attempt to end her life, Cheng Shu acted swiftly and stealthily made his way onto the rooftop of the building. His sole purpose was to convince Xing Lu to abandon her suicidal thoughts. However, despite his efforts, Xing Lu remained resolute in her decision. With a heavy heart, she leaped into the air, and Cheng Shu, in his desperate attempt to save her, found himself falling alongside her. Fortunately, fate smiled upon them, and they miraculously survived the fall by landing on the large protective mat below. Concerned for Xing Lu's well-being, Cheng Shu followed her to a nearby cafe, unaware that it belonged to her. The incident served as an unexpected catalyst for their paths to cross and for them to truly get to know each other. Little did Cheng Shu know, he had harbored a fondness for Xing Lu ever since their near collision in Vienna. He felt overjoyed to finally reunite with her. Cheng Shu made it a habit to visit Xing Lu's cafe every day, finding opportunities to draw sketches of her wearing a flight attendant uniform. Through these sketches, he revealed his connection to the moment he almost ran into her. Hearing this revelation, Xing Lu was taken aback, never expecting to encounter the person responsible for the close call she had experienced in Vienna. On a fateful day, Xing Lu stumbled upon Cheng Shu lost in his daydreams atop the building's roof. It was there that Cheng Shu, a struggling artist, confessed his financial woes. He shared his disappointment in art gallery directors who were hesitant to showcase his work, leaving him without a steady income. The burden of financial uncertainty weighed heavily on Cheng Shu's mind. Upon learning of Cheng Shu's predicament, Xing Lu extended a helping hand by offering him a job at her cafe. Grateful for the opportunity, Cheng Shu eagerly accepted the offer. As they spent more time together, their bond grew stronger, eventually blossoming into a romantic relationship. One night, Cheng Shu found himself amidst a crowd of people engaged in wild street car racing. Seeking additional income, he saw the race as a tempting opportunity. Against the odds, Cheng Shu emerged victorious, earning a substantial prize. With the newfound money, he treated Xing Lu to a lavish dinner at an upscale restaurant. Over dinner, Cheng Shu and Xing Lu delved into their personal lives. Xing Lu opened up about the loss of her mother and her father's subsequent remarriage. Her father, once a wealthy man, had mismanaged their finances, leading them down the path of poverty. Amidst their conversation, a minor misunderstanding caused a disturbance, prompting Cheng Shu and Xing Lu to swiftly leave the restaurant. The following day, Cheng Shu arranged a delightful outing for the two of them at an amusement park. Their faces beamed with joy as they savored every moment of their shared happiness. Upon their return from the playground, Xing Lu's eyes were captivated by a ring on display in a jewelry store window. Cheng Shu, noticing her interest, felt a sudden unease and hastily departed. Little did he know, he had glimpsed the price tag of the ring before leaving. One day, a man who had lost a bet during Cheng Shu's previous race confronted him, demanding his return to the dangerous world of racing. Faced with the man's threat of causing a scene at Xing Lu's cafe, Cheng Shu reluctantly agreed, fearing the potential consequences. As the race commenced, Xing Lu unexpectedly appeared, causing Cheng Shu to lose focus and ultimately the race. Discovering Cheng Shu's involvement in the life-threatening street race, Xing Lu was consumed by anger and immediately distanced herself from him. As punishment for losing the race, Cheng Shu was coerced into running home entirely naked. In a desperate attempt to return to the cafe unnoticed, he attempted to sneak in but was caught red-handed by Xing Lu. Instead of displaying anger, she simply chuckled and offered him a blanket. However, her resentment towards Cheng Shu's participation in the race, especially after learning that he had used race winnings to treat her to a fancy dinner, remained. Observing Xing Lu's sorrow, Cheng Shu decided to show her something meaningful. 
He took her to his apartment, revealing a collection of paintings he had created, each depicting Xing Lu's face. Overwhelmed with emotion, Xing Lu asked Cheng Shu to paint her once more. Surprisingly, as Cheng Shu prepared to paint, Xing Lu unexpectedly removed all her clothing. Astonished, Cheng Shu continued to paint her with all his heart. After completing the painting, Cheng Shu gently covered Xing Lu's innocent form with a blanket, embracing her tightly. It was at this moment that Xing Lu revealed her earlier statement about lying, leaving Cheng Shu bewildered and unsure of its meaning. One fateful day, Xing Lu received an old magazine sent by her ex-boyfriend. To her surprise, she stumbled upon an article about Cheng Shu, revealing him to be the son of a highly influential and respected conglomerate. Filled with a mix of emotions, Xing Lu confronted Zen Min in his office, where he accused her of being like him, engaging in relationships solely for wealth. Fueled by anger, Xing Lu vehemently denied the comparison, emphasizing that she wasn't driven by material gain like Zen Min. In a twist of events, Cheng Shu suddenly proposed to Xing Lu with the very ring she had admired in the past. He confessed that he had sold valuable paintings to purchase the ring, as he had earnestly intended to propose to her. However, Xing Lu, overwhelmed with tears, abruptly left Cheng Shu without an explanation. Seeking solace, she found herself on the rooftop of the building where she had once contemplated the unthinkable. Through tears, she apologized to Cheng Shu for any wrong she had done. After finding some semblance of calm, Xing Lu returned to Cheng Shu, expressing her desire to end their relationship. To her unexpected decision, Xing Lu revealed her intentions of reuniting with Zen Min. Heartbroken, Cheng Shu accidentally witnessed Xing Lu and Zen Min on a date. Desperate for an explanation, Cheng Shu confronted her, only to be met with the painful confession that she had never truly loved him. Tearfully, Xing Lu disclosed that her father was hospitalized and required substantial medical expenses. She confessed that she couldn't envision a future with a financially uncertain man like Cheng Shu. Overwhelmed with despair, Cheng Shu could do nothing but weep, his heart shattered by Xing Lu's piercing words. In the midst of it all, Zen Min grew enraged when Xing Lu refused to engage in sexual activities with him. Unbeknownst to him, Xing Lu's heart still lingered and cared for Cheng Shu, despite her claims otherwise. In reality, she intentionally made hurtful excuses to keep Cheng Shu at a distance, even though her love for him remained strong. Little did Cheng Shu know, Xing Lu had made a pact with Cheng Shu's mother, aiming to make him fall in love with her and then break his heart due to his status as a struggling artist. This scheme was orchestrated by Cheng Shu's mother to ensure he returned home, took charge of the family company, and carried on the family legacy. Despite her true feelings for Cheng Shu, Xing Lu found herself trapped by a 15 million yuan contract she had signed. Devastated by the consequences, she spiraled into a deep depression, seeking solace in alcohol. She deeply regretted betraying Cheng Shu, realizing that no man had ever loved her as he did. Meanwhile, Cheng Shu made the difficult decision to return to his mother's house. His mother appeared delighted by his return, as she had always desired him to abandon his artistic pursuits and take over the family business. This stemmed from her fear of Cheng Shu following in his father's footsteps, who tragically ended his life after feeling like a failure as a painter. In due course, Cheng Shu assumed the position of CEO within his family's company. As CEO, he made the decision to sell all his paintings for a mere one yuan, hoping to close the chapter on his past with Xing Lu. During an exhibition, a particular painting of great significance was purchased by an individual for a staggering 15 million yuan. Intrigued by the identity of the buyer, who was willing to invest such a substantial sum into a single artwork, Cheng Shu set out to uncover their whereabouts. When he finally discovered the buyer's address, he was astounded to find that it was none other than Xing Lu, who appeared utterly desolate and forlorn. Cheng Shu, unable to bear the weight of his emotions, approached Xing Lu, inquiring about her wealthy ex-boyfriend. However, met with her silence, he understood that she was not willing to discuss it. When Xing Lu inquired if Cheng Shu would paint again, he offered no response and silently walked away, leaving her behind. Frustrated and overwhelmed, Xing Lu burst into tears, tormented by the events that had unfolded. Wearing the ring that Cheng Shu had given her, she kissed it, a testament to her enduring love for him. Determined, Xing Lu resolved to chase after Cheng Shu. On the other hand, Cheng Shu himself bore a profound sadness, for in truth, he still loved Xing Lu. His earlier words were mere pretense, an attempt to shield himself from further pain. Cheng Shu made the decision to return to Xing Lu's residence, only to discover her absence. Meanwhile, Xing Lu found herself confronted by a group of thugs who sought to seize the ring Cheng Shu had gifted her. Tragically, in her defense of the ring, she sustained a stab wound. Despite her grievous injury, Xing Lu persevered, desperately searching for Cheng Shu's whereabouts. Spotting Cheng Shu's car, she halted his progress. Unaware of Xing Lu's presence, Cheng Shu unintentionally collided with her, causing her body to fall. With urgency, Cheng Shu rushed Xing Lu to the hospital. Consumed by remorse, he deeply regretted the calamity that had befallen her due to his own selfishness. In the aftermath of the incident, Cheng Shu made the decision to confront his mother, recognizing her interference as the cause of his separation from Xing Lu. He resolved to return the entire inheritance bestowed upon him. Despite his mother's pleas for him to stay, Cheng Shu chose to depart, leaving behind all familial possessions. 
the film concludes by depicting Cheng Shu's visit to Xing Lu in the city of Vienna. There, he presents her with a proposal, using the very same ring he had given her before. A testament to their enduring love, it signifies a new beginning for their shared journey. The moral of the story is never judge a potential partner by their near misses, but rather by their ability to fall from great heights and still manage to land on a mattress.